So Ferrari have done something that feels very... Ooh. I want to say... Ferrari. They put in the right review request for Carlos Sainz's penalty at the Australian Grand Prix and it got rejected. Seemingly because they didn't bring forward any kind of new pre-existing evidence that the students didn't have available to them at the time. Ferrari would say they did. The question is, what did Ferrari provide? Well, including their evidence was a large amount looking at a crash um, from... 2014 involving a Force India and... So Williams think it was Perez and Massa. In 2014. Which I think... I think it's a bit weird that that's what they decide to do. It's not the first time the Ferrari's done something weird when they're putting in a penalty review request or a right to review. We just think back to 2019. You know, when Veto ended up losing the Canadian Grand Prix and their protest involved them putting in Karun Chandok on the Skypad? I don't know. I think it's good for the team to be able to say, hey, I want to have another look at this, but there should be a better process for doing it more transparency and um, the ability to involve different people as well. Yeah, I I, I can see why Ferrari would be annoyed at the end of the day the order got reset. And at the same time I can see why the likes of Haas would be happy why there's a penalty given out. As always, says on my thoughts and I know yours in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.